Welcome to another episode of Back to the Past with me. I'm Blair and my faithful companion here, Gabby. Back in episode one, we did a property tour and we took the Rhino and we did an air flight all the way to the back end of my property. Well, my I've got two of my kids. The youngest loves riding around with Gab in this, the uh, Yamaha Rhino. Um, but there was an area that she didn't really like, and that's when we get to the steep part of the hill. So I started out making a turnaround there for her and then been developing a trail ever since that I'll end up using as sort of a little logging road. And uh, my oldest daughter enjoys running, so it'll make a nice loop for her to be able to run, for me to be able to walk with Gabby, for Crash to be able to walk with Gabby. Um, we'll just have a good time on the trail. Well, after a year and a half of working on that trail in my spare time, um, I think I finally got it completed. I've still got some cleanup to do and that sort of stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's done. Back in episode 20, I think it was, you saw me working toward the end of episode 20. Um, you did see me working um, on building that trail, but... Uh, I'm starting to run out of daylight, and Gabby and I are leaving first thing in the morning, so I want to take you on a quick tour. Gabby and I want to take you on a quick tour and uh, take a look at the full loop and what we've done. Stick around. The Rhino isn't a real quiet vehicle, so uh, hopefully you can hear me narrate as we go through, and if not, I'll add some notes. Let's go. been here before. It was a year ago in November and currently it's mid-February of 2022. Neighbor's been here working on his property off to the right. Now just ahead is where it gets very steep and uh, my youngest didn't really like that too well so here's the turnaround that I made. Uh, we'll take the uh, turnaround and then come right back to this same point and then finish the loop. This is an area where there is a spring at, and it runs uh, sometimes of the year so all the small junk rocks that can't be used for laying stones I've been throwing right here to firm this corner up.
Okay, so that was the first turnaround loop that I made. And in episode 20, I was working on this area right here. Most of the rocks that I showed you back in that, uh, that wet area uh, came from this area right here. Actually, this is a very, very rocky spot. All small rocks on the surface. I actually worked on this trail from both ends and then met in the middle actually right around here um, but this was a turnaround that I had made coming from the other side. Now originally when I came in from the other side I made a trail through uh, the woods here. And some of this area here had been clear-cut, as far as I can tell, back around 2004 and has become overgrown with black locust trees. I'm going to back up a bit and we're actually going to end up at where I'm building the barn. When I was working on the barn, I had talked about making a trail that comes out about here. So here we are. One problem I have had <clears throat> is with my small pot potted trees, either the deer pull them out of the pots if they're small, or if I have them laying on the ground, male dogs like to urinate on them. Either one kills them and makes them unusable. So anyway, I am uh, storing my garden mulch or building up my garden mulch in that area right there and uh, protecting my trees. I 
We've got a bunch of sugar maples in there and uh, well, just some miscellaneous stuff. Here we are back at the shed that I built a year ago, December. I thank you very much for joining me in this uh, quick episode, a uh, fun little trail ride. I got to have some time to enjoy myself doing things. I don't want it to be all work, although it's mostly work. Uh, give me the thumbs up if you would, please. Tell a friend. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one.